Today is the 1st of October um, 2012 and I've just, Kim and I did the West Highland Way which is a massive walk of about 100 miles over six days. Uh, over 100 miles actually and we each day we're doing about 17 to maximum was 25 miles a day over pretty tough ground and all that. And anyway when we were doing this walk we uh, were staying in bed and breakfasts and hotels and we were having full cooked breakfasts every morning and in the evening sometimes going out to the pub and having as much food as we could eat uh, in the evening. Usually like a but what did I have? One one night I had haggis burgers, another night I had uh, chicken fetus, another night I had uh, stuff. And anyway, I had a lot of beer with it all and everything like that. So, um, it was, it was body-wise, a tough, tough thing to do. My knees were sore every evening, uh, my ankles were swollen at the end, and one still feels bruised. And I obviously wasn't able to do any fasting. So we'd always have the breakfast in the morning because you're going to be walking for 20 miles for about seven hours. And all you'd have is your little rucksack with a Nutri-Grain bar in it and maybe some cheese strings and maybe some croissants, you know, kind of just snack food to have along the trip. And um, my body definitely hasn't responded well to what you'd call this is long, slow distance exercise. Um, really, if, I think like I've got like also I've got piles of spots all over my chin, and I feel a bit fatter. I look a bit fatter. Weighed myself today, eighty four point one or eighty four point four kilograms. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Each day I was burning nearly two thousand extra calories on top of my resting metabolic rate. Wasn't eating anything in between breakfast and dinner time apart from snacks and yet I've gained weight and fat. It's like if there's anything that was more of a kind of example of your body loves high intensity stuff, <laughs> you know, if you want to burn fat, high intensity. If you want to uh, get rid of fat again, it's fasting in the morning. It works for me. It really, my body really goes well with that kind of stuff. Um, the long, slow distance of 20 miles a day, seven to eight to nine, once it was 10 hours worth of walking. Um, and that that just buggered me. That, oh, I was just so sore every night and just, it was just not good for my body. So that has told me, right, time to just, you know, hardcore, high intensity and fasting is what my body works with and what my body responds to positively. Um, so just now, 84 and a half, let, let's just round up, 84 and a half kilograms. This month, I'm gonna try and really drop that weight while still doing all my weight. So cardio is just gonna be high intensity, like sprinting on the running machine, going mental on the rowing machine, skipping, doing my UFB one, twos and threes. Um, weight wise, I'm just gonna be pounding the weights I might do a little bit less than what I was doing before. Uh, I'm going to try and give myself more rest time in between. So maybe do five days of of actual training uh, with weight. So the other the other days when I'm in the gym, it'll just be kind of light weights, just uh, more high rep stuff, and we're just waking up the muscles to the exercises which I'm going to be doing the next day. So let's say on a Monday, uh, I well, well today I did squats and like oh they're they're tender. I obviously won't do squats until next week, but I will do some squats in between. So I'll be doing maybe just a light day, maybe like 40 or 50 kilograms, just a couple of reps, couple of sets, just to remind my muscles, this is what you're meant to be doing. Um, and maybe just working on stuff like technique, like hand cleans and, and uh, jerks and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm going to try that and I'm going to go try and drop my body weight and try and get ripped again. Uh, and try and go from, once again, the most ripped I've ever been. So. The lightest I got to was 79 kilograms. My plan is to beat that in terms of dropped weight and yet still increase my body weight to strength ratio on all my exercises. So in the description below, I'll put down my most recent body weight to strength ratios performances that I've done and let's see if I can beat them over the next month.
So we just, I think I'm going to aim for 77. Let's call this Project 77. See if we can get down to 77 kilograms and either maintain or increase my body weight to strength ratio. That's the plan.